So I moved to United States 16 years ago and everyone was talking about yoga, everybody was talking about meditation and I wanted to check it out. So I went to a local uh, yoga studio gym and I checked out their meditation class and I was left with my head scratching and like they're just breathing and uh, that's not really meditation. That is a step that goes towards meditation so that's not meditation. What I did not understand is that what passes off as meditation in this country is just uh, active breathing and trying to relax yourself in a state of where you are present and that is counted as meditation but meditation is so much more than that ask a buddhist monk you know their entire lifestyle centers around a meditative state silence mantras it's a lifestyle for them meditation is not created equal if according to ayurveda all of us are unique we are a combination of three doshas Vata, Pitta, Kapha, Vata, Kapha, Pitta, Kapha, anyway, the seven or eight types. How can the same type of meditation work for all of us? Different ages, different culture, different demographic, different time of life. The same person, a woman who is on her period, a woman who's pregnant, a woman who's nursing might need different forms of meditation. First of all, breathing deeply is the entry to meditation. Being mindful about something is an entry. In the beginning, the act of breathing properly and being very aware of our breathing is a skill that we acquire so that we can bring our mind to be present in the moment right and bringing our prana our chi back to present that is more like a mindfulness it is not meditation however meditation uses this let's go back and look at some of the benefits of the meditation they are well documented i don't want to go wet deep into it but we know that meditation has been practiced for hundreds and thousands of years in China, in Asia, in India, in Japan. Um, it is a very, very old practice. And there are numerous studies on the physical, mental, emotional health benefits of meditation. You know, it reduces stress, it helps the mental health, it enhances focus and concentration. Uh, there have been some studies on pain management. It helps us to sleep better. It lowers blood pressure. It's good for ojas or um, immunity, as we call ojas. And uh, it's great for emotional health as well. It improves cognitive function in elderly uh, people. And overall, it's just an amazing thing. So when they talk about all of these studies, what kind of meditation are they talking about? Are they talking about just breathing? Are they just talking about like mindfulness and you go and you breathe? For example, I'll give you an example. Um, put both your hands together on your heart. Bring your attention to your heart and close your eyes and take five deep breaths. And every time you inhale, imagine a light going in. And as you exhale, imagine that light, you know, filling your heart with happiness and joy. Let's do it five times. Inhale. The light is going in our hearts. Exhale. It's filling everywhere. Inhale. Beautiful healing light is going from our nose to our heart. Exhale. Three times. Inhale. Exhale. Imagine our mind and senses are everywhere. Imagine you're bringing yourself back together in your body, in your heart, and you're being present. And two more breaths. Become aware of your body. Become aware of the chair you're sitting in. Become aware of the floor that you're standing in. Become aware of my voice. Become aware of your surroundings. Now this is a skill. This is a skill. It's an informal moment that feels really good. It's a conscious effort to bring your senses, which we call Indriya, and bring them together like a tortoise brings itself under its shelf. So bringing all the Indriya, the senses together, and your mind and your chi, which is everywhere, our mind is completely scattered, bringing it together back in our body, becoming present. That is a skill and that is a prerequisite for deeper meditation skill. You can do this being present, this mindfulness kind of thing anywhere. You could do it while you're taking a train, bus, you're on an aeroplane, 
you're driving and you're stuck in a traffic, you can start breathing and you can start becoming aware of your hands and your arms. You can start becoming aware of your eyes and ears and throat and nose and neck and just becoming aware you will start breathing normally and start relaxing you know we hold a lot of stress in our body so this is just a beautiful skill to have it's basically the art of relaxation because breathing helps that and it is needed as a it's a skill and you can do it anywhere it's not a formal thing you could be walking you could be uh, in a queue at a checkout lane in a grocery store and you could do this. However, you know, meditation is a formal practice. It can take years. Actually, let me rephrase that. It can take lifetimes in order to get to the point where our meditation, you know, can yield amazing results. It will use breath. It will use that skill that we talked about of like, like we want to be mindful and we want to be aware of things. It requires a lot of deliberate effort to bring us to a higher state. And that state is not just for a moment. For example, we did this breathing and we brought ourselves back together in our body and became aware of things. And that's kind of relaxing. That is a moment. Mindful, uh, that's kind of almost like mindfulness, but meditation, the formal practice, you know, it's a practice. Like yoga is a practice. Qigong is a practice. Tai Chi is a practice. It's a practice. You know, it's a sadhana. In, in, in Sanskrit we say sadhana meaning it's a it's an actual practice sometimes you do good sometimes you do bad in one of the classes that i was teaching they said oh we meditate for five minutes for me a good meditation can run a good 45 minutes to even an hour but the beginning i'm just breathing for example the kind of meditation that i personally do because my mind goes everywhere is first what time of day i want to practice it best time for me personally is Brahmamurta before the sun rises get up my mind hasn't become active yet I'm a kapha person and so at that time after my morning ablutions and so on I will do my so-called puja I will uh, pray and then I sit and uh, sometimes I don't even sit I'm just walking and we call it the japa walk I'm walking and I start chanting under my breath whatever you chant may be I chant Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari. Sometimes I'm not even chanting. I audio tape of my uh, spiritual master chanting and I close my eyes and I've been doing this meditation for over almost 30 years. So as soon as I sit down, I have a special meditation chair. My mind knows this. she's going to do the practice. So it automatically goes there. I go to all the holy places, the special places. I walk, I breathe. And um, I, I remember once... Um, I was sitting in a meditation for hours. Oh my God, I got up, everything was like, ah, hurting a little bit and stiff. But yeah, it takes you to a higher state. You don't want to come out, but that, that, that kind of, you know, when you go into this state of trance doesn't happen every day. That's more like once or twice or three times in a year, at least for me. But it does, it's, it's a higher state. You could, you know, you, you meditate on a person, on a mantra, on a chant, on a book, on a story. For example, I know this sounds really weird. I mean, you think deeply of something. Today, I am going to make, I'm going to meditate on bread. I don't know. I love bread. So I figure everybody loves bread. Bread is good, right? I'm going to meditate on bread. Okay. Oh, bread, 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 bread. Bread's amazing. Now, that's not a really meditation. If you want to really meditate on bread, you're going to say, okay, I'm going to, in my mind, I'm going to cook bread. What kind of bread will I cook? Will I cook roti, naan, focaccia bread? Will I cook pita bread? Will I make Iranian soda bread? All right. So in your mind, you go, all right, in order to make bread, I'm going to get in my car. So in, in your mind, get in your car, uh, go into the grocery store, buy some beautiful flour and uh, come back. And now you have the ingredients. Now you're cooking. You put the bread, you put the soda, you put the butter, you put whatever you put in your bread. You're making the bread in your mind. And then you make the bread in your mind and then you offer that bread to the divine say all this energy that i've put in oh, oh mother earth i offer this to you this bread <laughs> or you know this is an example of a dumbed down version of the kind of this is a deep meditation this is called manasik puja this is one example there's so many so many forms of meditation but the idea is when you are just breathing when you're just breathing 
that is for example if you if you want to run a marathon you're going to start practicing for it you're going to do a warm up first and only after doing a warm up will you five days you will do 30 minutes a week or something like that then maybe you will go 40 minutes a week fifth and slowly if it's a let's say it's a 5 mile race you know it might take you 3 months 6 months to prepare for for the 5 miles or 6 miles or 10 miles or whatever that may be meditation is no different it's a practice my personal meditation is i go to these amazing places in my mind where you know sometimes i get into a state of trance that i'm there i'm in front of the holy river ganga and i can actually feel the cool breeze and i'm there and uh, there have been times where i have gone there and i can feel the wetness of the water and it it's just amazing you can do so many things and there's all all kind of downloads from the divine from higher powers from angels that start coming when you're in this world that stayed big spiritual people can attain that i'm a very ordinary person i mean like i said i only go in a state of trance once in a while the rest of the time uh, you know just struggling to oh my god how uh can i even sit for 45 minutes it's a practice you don't get there every single time So anyway the mantra that I do if you want to do it is why don't you breathe and let me chant for you and let's do a little um meditation close your eyes go sit in front of an ocean or a holy river ganga which is very beautiful up in the himalayas and you can hear the sound of the river and you're sitting there your eyes are closed listen to me chanting Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare slowly walk to the river on the beach there is a little bit of sand walk in that dip your toes in the ganga water that is flowing from the higher plane down and you can feel the water flowing pick up a little bit of water wash your face with it uh pray to the holy water that you should be purified inside out and put a little bit of that holy water on your head the spirit guide of the ganga the goddess is now in front of you she is standing on a surfboard with basically a crocodile she's wearing beautiful white clothes and uh, she is wearing um flower earrings and a beautiful yellow garland and she's smiling and we will offer her a mantra and a prayer devi sureshwari bhagavati gange tribhuvan tarini tarala tarangi shankara mali viharini vimalamam madhra sam tav pad kamale O spirit of the river Ganga, goddess Ganga, please bless me as I stand in front of you, purify me inside out. O O O Beautiful. Now take your feet out of the water of Ganga, go back and sit down by the beach, close your eyes. be there for a minute and then you can disengage from your meditation om shanti shanti shanti